Follow these steps to set up your ability to export all your Google Search Console data using the bulk export feature. You may want to pause this video as you do some of the more complex steps. To get started, go to Google Cloud Console. If you need to, set up and activate an account. Once you log in, click the Select a Project button. On the Project Selection window, click the New Project button. You'll need to give the project a name and associate a billing account. The data export has a free usage and storage level, but if that is exceeded, your account will be charged. If you don't have a billing account for Google Cloud, you can set one up under the Billing tab on the main menu. Find and click on your new project on the Google Cloud homepage. Copy the project ID and save it as you'll need it in Google Search Console. On the main menu, go to APIs and Services and select Enabled APIs and Services. Click Enable APIs and Services. In the API library, search for BigQuery API and select it. Click BigQuery API. If this is your first project with BigQuery, this button will say Activate. Click it to activate the BigQuery API for your project. Next, we need to make sure Google Search Console can connect to the BigQuery instance. In order to enable this, we have to add a new user to the project with the right access privileges. Click IAM and Admin and select IAM. Click Grant Access. Add this user email in the New Principles box. It's the email provided by Google Search Console in its documentation. And grant these two roles, BigQuery Job User and BigQuery Data Editor. Click Save. From the hamburger menu, click BigQuery, then select Analysis to see the database created once your configuration is complete. Now, go back to Google Search Console. In Bulk Data Export in the Settings, if you see this message, you need to go back to Google Cloud and check the IAM permissions. Carefully review the previous steps from this video. But we hope you see this. If you do, you're ready to start exploring your Search Console data. Data is supposed to populate in 48 hours, but we've seen it come through within 24 hours.